day as a result of innovation and teamwork from all levels, the company, the state, our business community, and city government. I'm extremely appreciative of everyone coming together to make this deal a reality for our community. It creates 500 jobs over five years with an average salary of $77,000. It includes an estimated $77 million in capital investment, and it builds on our success and momentum. Dun & Bradstreet has close ties to other local companies with a global footprint such as Black Knight and Fidelity National Financial. The move will strengthen those relationships and leverage them for more growth and more jobs in the years ahead. With state incentives already approved, my team and I will take legislation to city council in the next few weeks for review and approval. I look forward to working with my colleagues to secure this win for our city and our community. Again, thank you for the opportunity. We're proud to welcome Dun & Bradstreet to our community. Thanks for your confidence. Now please welcome the CEO of Dun & Bradstreet and Black Knight, Anthony Jabor. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for the introduction, and uh, thank you for being here with us today. Um, obviously, we've got some very exciting uh, news to share, you know, that we're opening up our global headquarters here in Jacksonville. Uh, I'm honored uh, to make that announcement on behalf of, you know, all my colleagues at Dun & Bradstreet. Uh, very exciting times for us, and I think very exciting times for the city of Jacksonville. For those of you that aren't familiar with Dun & Bradstreet, we we're a leading global provider of data and analytics, helping businesses all around the world. It's what we do. And what's really special about us, I think, is that we've got a very storied history, which makes it even more special for us to be headquartered here in Jacksonville. We've been doing business for 180 years, and not too many companies can say that. Uh, not only did uh, uh, President Abraham Lincoln work here, three other U.S. presidents worked here for a total of four, Ulysses Grant, Grover Cleveland, and William McKinley. So, uh, like I said, it makes it just that much more special uh, with our storied history uh, for us to call Jacksonville home. I've lived here uh, with my family for 11 years and, uh, and just absolutely love it here. I've traveled extensively around the U.S., I've traveled globally, and I've seen many beautiful places, but none that I'd rather call home uh, versus Jacksonville. So, I'm very proud of our city. <laughs> I'm very proud of our city, and I'm very proud to be able to share it with my colleagues from Dun & Bradstreet. But I'd like to say, I'm also really proud of our elected officials. You know, they worked very hard to make this happen. And uh, they had a tremendous focus on job creation and continuing to strengthen Jacksonville. And like Mayor Curry said, we're gonna bring 500 jobs. They're well-paying jobs. They're in the field which is really important. It's in the data and analytics field. That's an area that's going to continue to be more and more important as time goes by. So on so many levels, this is such an important announcement uh, for the city. We plan to open up uh, our office here in the fall. And so we're working on final uh, site selection right now and then the work that we'll have to do. But we're, uh, we're very excited about it. Our future is here in Jacksonville and uh, we're excited to get started here. I'd like to thank um, the mayor and his team for their work. I'd like to thank you know, the mayor and his team, uh, our chamber and Jacks USA and their teams for all their efforts, and obviously all of our leaders of city council for all their efforts in getting us to this point. It's very exciting you know, for all of us, and it's just honored to be here today. So with that, um, I'd like to thank you again for your time and introduce the Florida Secretary of Commerce, Jamal Sowell. So when Andre and Daniel Davis told me about this project, we were very excited <laughs> because when you think about the world and what happened last year, people were saying that what's going on? We, we just don't know. But we had a governor who said Florida is good for business and Florida is where you need to come. And people were saying, California, Chicago, New York, they're great. I said, just wait. <laughs> and
and the governor um, was adamant and bold about going against the norm, even when it wasn't popular, even when you had naysayers who were saying, what is he doing? But he was strong and said, Florida is the best place for business, and we're going to show you why. And this is an example of why. So to the great is, today is great for Florida and also for the Northeast Florida region. But on behalf of the governor, this is a true testament to his work to make Florida one of the most business-friendly states in the entire country. Dunham Bradstreet's decision to relocate its headquarters to Jacksonville will have immediate significant economic impacts in the entire region. Even more, this will also continue to position Florida at the epicenter of economic development nationally and internationally. We have amazing airport, a great port, I see you Eric Green, <laughs> and, and others. But um, at Enterprise Florida, we are relentless in telling Florida's story and are always proud of business partners like Dun and Bradstreet who are ready for new ways of growth. So about two years ago, I came here to speak, um, and it was an amazing time. And the team here with Daniel and Andre were amazing because they kept telling me, Jamal, Jackson is the place to be. Northeast Florida, Northeast Florida. Calls every day, text messages. <laughs> um, so, so, but that embedded in my mind something important because I have family here who live on Lim Turner, Edgewood, the north side. And when we would go to places with the governor, New York and Chicago, we would sit down in the room and make the pitch. But I would say, well, here's what we have to offer based on what the Jackson Chamber and Jackson USA told me. So that foundation allows me to go around the world with the governor, tell all the great assets that we have here. But today shows a story of resilience, shows a story of economic development and business about why Florida is the ultimate place to be and to show it shows us that every single day with these great companies coming. So thank you to the mayor, the council, the leaders, because it's your work that makes Jacksonville one of the most pro-business places in the nation. Thank you. <laughs> and I would like to introduce um, the secretary of DEO, Dane Eagle, who I work with on a regular. And we work together all the time. So without his work in his department, and all the collaboration that we do, this would not be possible. You know, leading off what Secretary Sowell said, what, a lot of people always wonder, what's the difference between EFI and DEO? And the way I look at it is it's good cop, bad cop. <laughs> DEO gets, or EFI gets to go out and have these great conversations about ideas and bringing great businesses to Florida. And DEO is usually on the back end saying, maybe, maybe not. Let's take a look at the numbers. Let's see if this works. Well, today we both get to be good cops. This is very exciting to be able to welcome Dunn and Bradstreet. Thank you, Anthony, for choosing Florida and Jacksonville. Mayor Curry for making Jacksonville such an easy decision. Uh, to, the, to the chamber, Daniel Davis, Chairman Brown, this is amazing. Um, on behalf of Governor DeSantis, as uh, Secretary Sowell said, uh, Florida's been open for business. We have an unemployment rate of 4.7% well below the national average of 6%. We had an unemployment crisis about a year ago where people couldn't get uh, through to get the unemployment that they needed. That has drastically changed to the point of now we have 450,000 excess jobs in our economy. Well, today it's 450,500. 500 <laughs> high paying jobs to add to that, which I know is gonna infuse some excitement in the workforce. And of course, infuse the economic stability and, and growth here in Jacksonville. So the governor has long said, Florida's open for business. I believe that, um, of course, businesses have been choosing Florida every single day, but a business of this magnitude, I truly believe is gonna open the floodgates. Businesses in New York, New Jersey, California, Illinois, places that have been shut down are looking to Florida as that beacon of economic freedom, and Dun and Bradstreet has proved it today. So thank you to all of you, and especially to Governor DeSantis for keeping our great state open. More to come. Thank you, Dane. Thank you, Jamal. And congratulations, Anthony. This is, uh, it's, it's a great day to be in Florida, a great time to be in Jacksonville. As you said, heard Florida is open for business, and it, th this is a huge impact from our region, for our region, and just really appreciate you and everything that you've done. Thank you all for being here.